Okay, we have already taken a look into chapters 1 and 2. Really remarkable, oh? How the Holy Spirit uses a local matter to show us general truths that are still up to date in 2019. Good, but now towards your question. How exactly do I put this into practice? How can I live in dependence on the head who is Christ? To show us how we can live depending on the head in heaven, the Holy Spirit uses the Apostle Paul to write two great chapters. Wonderful, isn't it? A chapter for everyday life and a chapter where he really goes into the issue. So, spiritual battles. To understand chapter 3, you must understand this sentence. Your life is hidden with Christ in God. How this works is seen in the previous verses. To die with Christ and to be resurrected with Christ. This means that our true identity, our I, is no longer here on earth. This is difficult to believe because we're still here physically on earth. But spiritually, we're already in heaven. Imagine this, your friend is only getting married in a few days, but he really radiates his joy just through how he looks around. You think to yourself, in his head, he's already in his honeymoon. Now, I say this with all reverence, in spirit, we should already be in our honeymoon, with our groom in heaven, there where you actually belong. And this is what the verse says, set your minds on things that are above. If in the spirit you are already in heaven, then the soul and the body will also live heavenly, not only slightly shown, but full of energy. Because our world of thoughts influences our actions. The heavens rule the earth. It is simply brilliant how these verses show this. The next verses go on like this. First, what happens spiritually and then how we should apply it practically. We have died spiritually, so we should practically kill our members. We are resurrected in heaven, so we should think on the things that are above. Spiritually, we have undressed ourselves from the old man, so practically we should flee from evil deeds. Spiritually, we have put on the new man, therefore we should practically put on and show his qualities. Amazing, is it? Become practically what you already are spiritually. Heavenly truths determine earthly behavior. You can see even more concretely how these truths should be implemented in the relationships between man and woman, parents and children, masters and servants. And today we would probably say employer and employee. This is really super practical. The master or employer should deal properly with his servants or employees because he also has a Lord in heaven. Good. So now we are left with chapter 4 and it's about spiritual battles. In these, we can only be victorious if we fight in close connections to the head in heaven. And this is practically expressed through prayer. A Christian remains constantly in prayer and through this receives wisdom from above on how to live out the kingdom of God here on earth. Closing up, the apostle gives us a long list of people who are an example to us and encourage us to continue. God has given you a ministry. The question is, do you depend on the glorified Christ? Or did you just give yourself a break? Keep on. The Lord is coming soon. And that's the end of the road, okay? Uh, Colossians is done and uh, it was a tremendous joy for us to work on this uh, as a team and especially to see how it impacts life. That's the most important thing. We don't want to be a, a YouTube channel that's just uh, famous or that's uh, doing funny animation video. We really want to have an impact on our generation and to help them to, to really understand what the Bible text wants to say in the 21st century. And it's amazing to see that the Lord is, is using these videos to help a visual generation really understand deep biblical doctrine. And you are part of it. You are helping us. You are supporting us financially and you're helping us also too um, by praying and by sharing these videos. Thank you so much. And the next videos are already in production. So stay tuned, okay? And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.